Racks have been a vital part of the traction workflow since its infancy. They're not only a great creative tool, but in some cases they're essential for getting a job done. Those brand new to Waveform may not yet be familiar with racks, and this video aims to shed some light on just how useful they can be. In subsequent videos, we'll dive deeper into specific workflow scenarios. Here are our top four uses for racks. Racks can be used to quickly create and save effects chains or channel strips. Simply highlight the plugins on a track, right click and choose wrap these plugins in a new rack plugin. Your effects chain or channel strip can now be viewed and modified in either the rack editor view or the stack editor view. From here we can name our effects chain and then save it for further use, adding tags and descriptions as we go. Racks are essential if you use multi-output plugins and wish to access and route those outputs. Here we can see a contact drum instrument being routed using four rack instances to four stereo outputs. Multi-output routing is extremely flexible in a rack and once routed, your rack environment can be saved for future recall. We'll be taking a closer look at this in later videos. Racks allow us to get creative by layering any of the virtual instruments in your collection. This allows us to create and trigger complex textures from just one MIDI controller. Levels and stereo positioning can be tweaked and additional effects can be added to create truly unique sounds. Once again, these multi-layered instruments can be saved and recalled with just a few clicks. Racks allow us to quickly and easily apply parallel processing on a single track with any plugin. Simply load a plugin and then use the wet slider to slowly blend in the affected output. To get started with any of our top four, you'll first need to know how to load a rack and there are a few different ways of doing this. Method one involves dragging the plugin object and choosing Create New Empty Rack. As you'd expect, this loads a completely empty rack environment. As we saw earlier, we can also create a rack by highlighting existing plugins. Right clicking and choosing Wrap These Plugins in a new rack plugin. Finally, we can load a rack from a preset. Waveform ships with a whole bunch of rack presets. Simply drag the plugin object, navigate to plugin racks, and choose new from preset. I suggest exploring some of these presets to get an idea of how things are rooted and to see what's possible. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.